Hey everybody, Joel Silverman here from Silverman Law Office. Uh, I wanted to cover a very important topic today, which is about weatherproofing your business in this time of need. We're all facing uncertain times right now. We all know that. We don't know how long businesses are going to be closed. Today, Friday the 20th, we just got an order from the governor this morning closing down all bars, restaurants, movie theaters, uh, any place where people can really gather. And we don't know how long that's going to last. Uh, we've heard talk that originally it was only supposed to go a week and it was by the county. Now it's changed, evolved, and we don't know when it's going to end. So what I kind of wanted to do was put together what are my keys to thriving in this type of situation. And it really comes down to three main things. Number one is get your business financial house in order. Number two, what's your emergency plan in your business? And number three is get your personal finances in order. If you follow this simple three-step plan, hopefully you, your business, your family are going to be able to come out of this uh, and get through the other side and be able to take advantage of the business opportunities that will be awaiting you as the economy turns around. Because right now we don't know if this is going to last two weeks, a month, six months, or maybe a year. So what we got to do is get into our businesses, into our personal lives, and start executing on a plan. Because the plan is what's going to be important. What gets measured in your business, in your personal financial life, what gets measured gets done. If you aren't measuring, you already know you're halfway to failure. So let's get the other side halfway to success. How are we going to do that? Well, the must to save your business in a financial pandemic. Number one, get your business financial world in order. How do you do that? Number one is know your numbers. If you don't know your numbers, you don't know what to measure, you're already destined for failure. Can you save it if you don't know them? Yes, yes you can. Get your CPA, get your bookkeeper, get your tax attorney on the phone. Figure out your numbers now. You have to do that immediately. I am working with clients around the clock right now setting up plans. And we're doing that because we care about our clients. We care about their businesses. We know how that affects their families. So do it now. Remember this, cash is king. If you don't have cash, you're in trouble. And you wanna ask, what do I do if I don't have the cash in place? Well, then you better start getting it figured out. Before the banks close, you better figure it out. Go get an operating line of credit. The SBA, just from the federal government, released a new loan program underneath the coronavirus situation that they're going to give up to $2 million loans at three and three quarter percent interest. Yes, it's still interest, it's still money you're gonna have to repay, but it's better than losing everything. Get yourself ready, know your numbers, get backup financing ready, because if you don't have that ready, you're destined for trouble. Number two, I want to, or number three, I want you in this area of your personal finances. We've got four main areas. We've gone through two. Number three here is know your expenses. If you don't know where your money's going, you can't control it. The number one thing you can always control in a business, the only thing you can control in your business, your expenses. Remember that. Get those under control. Start getting lean and mean right now. If you aren't, you're destined for failure. These things I'm telling you today, folks, these are what every business needs. This is what the opportunity we're being given is to get our businesses lean and mean so when we come out the other side, we're more prepared, we're in better shape than anybody around. The last thing that you wanna do here in this area about your financial house being in order is rethink your business. Rethink who's my ideal customer. How do I reach them? How do I serve them? How can I give back to my community? We've gotten lazy, so we need to rethink these things. We need to find new ways or avenues for income streams. We need to think about our teams. 
do we have the right people in the right seats? Maybe you've gotten bloated with employees and you need to start thinking about who's not right for your team. Rank everybody on your team. Figure out who's the right person in the right place and you know what you need to do. If you don't have the right people on your team, then you need to let them go. The worst thing you can do is keep too many people on your team and cause yourself to go bankrupt and then be in a position that you have to fire everybody and lose everything that you've created. Get lean and mean now. Let's get to point number two of our three-point system here, which is your emergency plan. Everybody better have an emergency plan in place by now. If you don't, you are destined for failure, right? There's only three main points here. Number one, your financial house and your business. Number two, your emergency plan. What are you going to do if the government shuts you down completely and you can only work remotely? Is your team set up for it? Can your business be set up for it? We have restaurant clients calling us, Joel, we literally went from thousands of dollars a day in food sales to now under $200 a day. How do we handle it? Get lean and mean. Figure out your new business system. You now have to change the way you advertise. You have to change the way that you're going to market to get your customers in the door. So what about, what do we do if that shutdown happens? Think about it, plan for it. Talk to your spouse about this. Talk to your neighbors. Find out from them what would make them want to buy from you. What would make them want to come do business with your business. So think about those things. Your neighbors want to help. Ask them for help. Ask them for advice. Go around and talk to people. You can still use social distancing and talk to people. Pick your phone up. So make sure that's happening. Unemployment is the other big one inside your business if you have to have an emergency plan. Uh, the government is giving a reprieve to businesses on allocating the unemployment for the first week to you as the employer. But uh, from an employee standpoint, they are giving unemployment on the first week of unemployment. Used to be that you had to wait for a week, go sign up for job service. You don't have to anymore but the lines are getting long. The government can't keep up with all the requests for unemployment right now. Imagine what's gonna happen in two weeks. Get your team to apply today. If you take care of your team, they're going to take care of you in the long run. Do your best to take care of your team. Lastly, point number three is your personal finances. I can't stress to you how important this is. The first rule of thumb in your personal finances, know your numbers. If you don't know where every penny is going, then you don't know your numbers and you don't know how to cut your expenses. What are you paying in Netflix a month? What are you paying in Hulu, Yahoo, Bing, whatever you're paying for? And I'm throwing some old names out there to see if anybody caught it. Brad, my man on the camera, is laughing his head off because I threw out Yahoo and Bing, which nobody uses Bing. My sister will kill me for that one. But come on, really? Folks, how many of us have subscriptions that auto renew that we don't use? You can save hundreds of dollars a month if you cut out those subscriptions. Know your financial house, get it in order now. We don't know how long this thing's gonna last, so you gotta do that. And once you know your numbers, you can now go through and control your expenses. That's the second point, control those expenses. Your home life can outstrip your business like that. Don't let it happen. Get your house in order, get your business in order, get that emergency plan in place. Do the same thing with your family too. Have an emergency plan in place with your family. We see the ridiculousness in our grocery stores where people have bought out all the toilet paper. Now it's coming back online. I mean, literally the entire back wall in our Costco is just toilet paper. I mean, it's, it's gotten so ridiculous. Uh, a friend of mine came home from Europe and he'd been gone for several weeks. Uh, he's a professional motorcycle rider, gets home and he calls me and he says, Joel, I'm in the grocery store and you could buy every fruit, vegetable that you wanted was there, that the shelves were full. But he said, you go over to the sugar cereal aisle and it's empty, just empty. He's like, all the crap you could feed your family is gone. But if you want healthy stuff, it's here. So 
Do the same thing in your life. Get everything in order. Get a plan set in place. We want to make sure everybody's safe. If you have questions, give us a call here at Silverman Law Office. We want to make sure that people get through this and we're going to do our best to help everybody. I want you to remember, planning and executing now is what will separate you from everyone else in business when we come out on the other side. Plan, execute. Go make it happen, everybody, and have a great day.